Hello, today we are going to be talking about inferencing. Now, the most important thing about inferencing is that we use the text to back up our inference. As you recall from class, making an inference requires using text evidence plus our background knowledge or our schema, and therefore we can make an inference about the text. Today we're going to be taking a look at the trampoline, a short text, and how we can answer a question and use that text to prove our answer. The great thing about reading is that no matter what the question, we can always prove our answer in the text. The answer is in there. All you have to do is go and find it. So here we have the trampoline. What's that? Cal asked his new friend Juanita. That's my trampoline, said Juanita. What's it for? asked Cal. Jumping, shouted Juanita. Come on, try it. They climbed onto the black net and bounced like kangaroos. Based on the story, what do you think Cal, do you think that Cal had jumped on a trampoline before? A, yes, Cal had been friends with Juanita for a long time. Now the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is does A even answer the question that was asked above here? We need to be finding did Cal ever jump on a trampoline before? Or do we think that Cal had ever jumped on a trampoline before? This does not even answer that question. And also about this answer selection, Cal had been friends with Juanita for a long time. On the first line of this text, it shows that Cal asked his new friend, Juanita. So we can go ahead and cross out A as an option. B, yes. Cal had his own trampoline. Now, if Cal had had his own trampoline, he would not have asked his friend Juanita, what is it? He would have known exactly what it was and how to use it. Also in line three, he asked, what's it for? So we know that B is not correct because he would have known those things. C, no, Cal had always been too scared to jump on the trampoline. Again, this answer does not answer the question that was asked before if we thought that Cal had jumped on a trampoline before. Also in line four, it says that they had climbed onto the black net and bounced like kangaroos. That sounds like they had a great time and were not scared to jump on the trampoline at all. So that is not a good answer. <clears throat> D, no, Cal didn't even know what a trampoline was. This is our best answer because both in line one and line three, it shows us that Cal does not know what the trampoline was, and he also does not know how to use it. He asks, what's that? Pointing to the trampoline. He asks, what's it for? How to use it. So do we think that Cal had jumped on a trampoline before? No, Cal didn't even know what a trampoline was. And that is how you answer an inferencing question.